as a substitute, always say, make an impact. Well, four minutes, that's making an impact, isn't it? Yeah, it worked out well, didn't it? <laughs> Perfect substitution, and obviously, uh, Shawnee made a big difference as well, and Stephen Quinn got goal, so subs all around today played the part, and it's a team thing and everything, so, uh, yeah, coming on and literally getting ourselves back into the game with obviously my finish, and then I thought I'd put us ahead. I weren't sure if I was on or off, felt like I was on, but could have been off, I don't know. Um, but the subs all round played the part, and in the end, I think I think we deserve to win. But it was touch and go, and even when they got back to four three, I thought they're going to score a fourth. <laughs> so it was just one of them, and I'm glad. Uh, obviously, Dave got that fifth just to just to seal it. But at four three, I thought, oh no. <laughs> but no, it's uh, worked out really well. What was that dressing room like at half time? Because um, you, you related uh, on the, in the forty second minute, Yannick's got you back to to one apiece, and then they go straight up the other end and score. It must it must be a real kicker going into the break. We were poor, weren't we? First half, I, it was similar. We played Barnsley last year to clinch promotion. Obviously, uh, Barnsley were fighting for their lives, and we we just need a point to go up. And we all froze on that day. You couldn't we had massive support, massive following like today. It was just Barnsley on a bigger scale. And we got ourselves back into the game with obviously a good finish from Yannick. They go down the other end, 2-1, and you're thinking, this has got Barnsley, it smells of Barnsley, it's got the feel of Barnsley, just on a much grander scale. The dressing room was flat at half-time thinking, we're struggling, but what, what are we going to do about it? And fortunately, obviously, substitutions, the gaffers paid off and we managed to turn it around, but the first half wasn't looking good. The Cup's been kind to you, though, this season. Yeah, I've done OK. <laughs> <laughs> Modest. <laughs> no, I've done okay, and uh, to be honest, I can't believe that myself and I'm sure most of the lads in the dressing room can believe that in an FA Cup final, now we're there, we want to put in a good show, and hopefully uh, we can win. I was going to say, what does it mean to you to have scored at Wembley and to have helped put your team into an FA Cup final? Unimaginable, to be honest. You having trouble taking same, it in? At the same time, I feel a little bit drained with the whole thing. Yeah sitting on the bench and watching it all unfold and it just, like I say, felt like that Barnsley and that, that was a bad day for me in particular, that game and to come on and it all changed and to get through is relief as well as thinking this shouldn't really happen to me, so thrilled, relieved, drained, all sorts of emotions but probably tomorrow I think, yeah, what a great day. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, but it ain't sunk in yet. No, no, I don't think it will till obviously preparing for obviously the final once it comes round but to play like a stadium like this, score a goal and the team to win and get to a final, stuff you dream about and it sounds cheesy and everything but I didn't think it happened to me and it's happened.